Okay, so we're just going to do some practice problems where we're counting the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in atoms and atomic ions. And just a little re review on how to find those. If you want the number of protons, you would just look at the atomic number. Because atoms are neutral and electrons and protons are charged and have opposite charges of one another, the number of electrons must equal the number of protons because this is 1 minus and this is 1 plus. And the number of neutrons is the atomic mass minus the number of protons. And so we're ready to get started and fill in this table. So in the first one we're given chromium 52. Uh, this top number is the atomic mass, or the mass number. And we're missing the bottom number, which is the atomic number, which you find in the periodic table, is 24. This number is what corresponds to the number of protons that are there, which is 24. And since it's neutral, it must also be the number of electrons. And the number of neutrons, then, would just be 52 minus 24, which is 28. Okay, what about this next one? Well, we have 33 protons, so what is the 33rd element? You'll find it is arsenic. And um, the atomic mass associated with that is the sum of the protons and neutrons, which, when you do that, is 75. Uh, we must have the same number of electrons as protons, so we have 33 electrons. What about in this next one? We have 20 electrons and 20 neutrons. Well, if we have 20 electrons, we must have 20 protons. And so now we know we can find which element that is. Element number 20 is calcium. And its atomic mass is the sum of protons and neutrons, which will be 40. And that finishes out that column. In the fourth one, we have um, a mass number of 222. And we have 86 electrons, so we must have 86 protons. So that's also our atomic number, which you'll find corresponds to radon. And the number of neutrons is just 222 minus 86, which is 136. Okay, and in the last one, we have a mass number of 193 and atomic number of 77. The 77th element is iridium, so that's our symbol. Uh, if we have 77 protons, we must have 77 electrons. And the number of neutrons must just be 193 minus 77, which is 116. And that's our complete table now. What about these? Now we have atomic ions. So what's different about this? Well, with Al3+, let's look at neutral aluminum. So aluminum is the 13th element and it has an atomic mass of 27 according to the periodic table. So that would correspond to 13 protons. What about electrons? Well normally for neutral aluminum it would be 13, but we have aluminum 3 plus, which means it's missing 3 electrons, so we would have 10 electrons. And the number of neutrons is 27 minus 13, which is 14. And that's it for aluminum. What about tellurium 2 minus? Well, neutral tellurium is 128 and 52. So we must have 52 protons. For electrons, we would normally have 52, but now we have 2 extra since it's 2 minus. So 52 plus 2 is 54. And finally, the number of neutrons would just be 128 minus 52 which corresponds to 76. And so that's using atomic masses and numbers to find uh, the number of electrons, protons, and neutrons in atoms and atomic ions.